damn. Get him, man. Get him. Alright, um... Up. Oh, that was it! Investors around the world today rejoiced at a decision by the Czech Republic to approve expansion plans for the Palisade Bank Corporation. Located in Prague, the bank's iconic blade facilities hold the largest and most secure data archiving vaults in the world. Cutting-edge security measures have protected the sensitive secrets of megacorporations and influential individuals since privacy laws first passed. Sources close to the bank tell me that no hacker has ever come close to breaching the Blade's defenses, despite an almost astronomical number of attempts. Between you and me, folks, I think they are just wasting their time. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Picus. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Kobe Scroby and welcome back to DSX Mankind Divided. And this is the Breach section. Here's the main menu. We had Story and Breach. And that that we just watched was the intro sequence. Let's see what this is. DSX Breach shares gameplay systems and control from DSX Mankind Divided. We encourage you to play the tutorial of DSX Mankind Divided. Predator and Breach. All right, what is it? Hello, glad to see you logged on. The more rippers we have attacking the breach, the better. Access to the most secure corporate servers in the world. The countless terabytes of data they hold are finally within our reach but there's no way of knowing how long the breach will stay open so every ripper needs to take action now tell me why you became a ripper and I can help you get even better at it hmm money challenge change or redirect I'm gonna say challenge bam the neural subnet offers a challenges offers a challenge that's unlike anything else out there. I can respect that. Virtual reality certainly changes the playing field for people like us, but being a ripper can also be about making a difference. For years, the corporations that control the world feared their secrets would one day be exposed. But since the Palisade Bank built their massive server farms, any incriminating evidence against them has been protected until now. To be honest, your reason to become a ripper is not as important as what can be done with the data you extract. I want to work with you to ensure that you get as much of it as possible while you can. How do I know you won't just take the data I extract and screw me over? Really? And what do I get out of teaming up with you? I already have my own black market NSN kit and can raid the blade server myself. Why do I need to team up with you? I've done my fair share of raiding servers on my own just fine. Extracting data from <laughs> from the blades will be no different. How do I know I can trust you? Shadow child. Why would I do that to you? It's in my best interest to provide you with the means to stand up to Palisade's advanced defenses. 
by compensating you for every terabyte you bring in, you could prove your skills. Uh, why go on about this for hours? We, we can go on about this for hours. Time that's better spent raiding the Blade servers. I'll post something on the <laughs> message board that should answer all your questions. So, Kobe Scroby, will you work with me? Uh, thanks for posting this to answer my questions that I can't look at. For now. Sure. The sooner the better. I'll guide you through the blades lava wall servers myself. It's the defensive barrier that stands between you and Palisade's client servers. Then it'll be up to you. Extract the data, expose the truth. End conversation. Okay. Alright, Ripper. Let's get started. Check my message board for a link to the Palisade's lava wall servers. Photo of Palisade Blades? Open entries by clicking them with the mouse. Mm. Oh, lava wall servers. To extract data, you need to find data towers. Access the one ahead of you to begin. Oh! Oh, wow! Okay. This is not what I was expecting this to be. Extract data, five terabytes. Data download initiated. Download complete. Uh, okay. Whoa, this is cool. The glass in the windows. All right. Yeah, okay. I know how to, uh... The server blocks ahead are vulnerable to remote hacking. Use it on time to clear a path. Remote hacking? Um, how do I do that? Uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, I don't know... Oh, wait, wait. Press E when the slider is over the signal. No! Got it. Okay. So I noticed I have a timer. Okay. So I'm guessing the you almost have enough data, Reaper. One or two more towers should do it. The better time I get, you know, like the better score. And uh That's it. You have enough data. The breach point is open. But the uh, AI code uh, has activated its lockdown sequence. Hurry. If you don't get to the exit in time, any data your avatar carries will be Blah 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 blah. So, oh, maybe I don't know. The timer was timing. Well, yeah, was counting up. As promised, the data you extracted has been converted into credits and experience. Huh? Experience for like the game? Interesting. Protecting the corporate data we're after. I've hacked a booster pack into the next node. Open it now. Complete a server map to unlock any nodes connected to it. Some nodes may require using a firewall key. Press middle mouse button to quickly navigate around the map. Reach the exit. Setup pack 1.0 Basic weaponry <laughs> Items can be rated from C common to S extremely rare 
Rarer booster packs tend to have rarer items. Higher grades mean better stats. More room to upgrade and new weapon visuals. Some items, like Praxis kits, are only available at higher rarities. Booster packs contain a variety of items that can help you survive. Access the next server and you'll see how to equip them. Um. <laughs> equip your avatar with the weapon and ammo before entering the server. Switch to the loadout tab to transfer items from your reserve. Okay. Oh, hold the weapons and items you can use during gameplay. Space is limited to access loadout by pressing tab. Holds infinite items, the reserve. Okay. Well, uh, reserve. Here. Pistols. Basic pistol. What? I thought I picked up some guns and stuff. It looks like I have some ammo. Hmm. Everything up here says zero. Close. All right, Ripper. Enter the lava wall server when you're ready. Oh, here it is. All right, get back up. Up. Thank you. No. Up. You. Here. Now. Armor. Message board. Okay. All right. Go. Heads up. This server is guarded by AI defenses. Expect a fight if you're spotted. Okay. I don't see any AIs. Yet. Whoops. I guess I shouldn't have thrown that. Careful, there's a guard here. Downloading data attracts attention. Stick to cover or open fire, but if you're detected, reinforcements will spawn. All systems normal. Zero threat. <laughs> this is cool. Are the fast way to defeat enemies and keep things quiet. Just keep an eye on the energy usage. Some data towers can be tricky to access, but sometimes the way to them is easier than it seems. Okay. Uh, what? Oh, oh, you are so tricky with your secret wall. About over here. Remote hacking to your advantage. Server blocks can help you access out of reach areas. Hmm. Oops. Crap. Oh. Yeah. Now go up. T. 
two, one, go up. Up. Oh, that's when it can be hacked again. I thought that's when it went back. Okay. Hit that one. Uh oh. Find your way back to the exit before the lockdown completes. Move. The AI core will do everything it can to prevent your escape. It regenerates oh, uh -oh. your defenses and finds ways to block your path. Oh god. Oh. Doors like this seal shut when a lockdown is triggered. You'll have to find a route around them. What? Um, like what? I got 57 seconds. Oh, here? Aha! That's not it. Um, Minor audible anomaly detected. Um, uh, get him. Bam! Okay. Okay, I was like, where's my way out? Cool! <laughs> this is fun! Bravo! You're halfway through the level of servers. Another booster pack is waiting to be opened. So this looks like the hacking here, like going between the nodes. Oh, I didn't go to this one. Right? Or was that the first one I did? Um, I don't know. Maybe I did go to that one. Open pack. Open pack. Hold the... Enter to open pack again. <laughs> it's rare, but some booster packs contain Praxis, Praxis kits. kits. The points they provide are needed to unlock augmentations for your avatar. Cool. Um, how do I use them? Completion rate twelve percent. Okay. How do I use the Praxis kit? Can I not do that yet? So let's just go to this one and go. So I haven't All used right, my Piper. gun Time yet. To augment your avatar and make things more interesting. Ah, thank you. That's what I wanted to do. Augmentations provide your avatar with unique abilities that no item can match. Unlock the multi jump up now. You're going to need it to complete the next level while server. Multi jump up, right? That's what she said. Jump. Oh. Jump aug. Motion. Arm. HP. E N O battery. Oh baby, that's I want that for the the other game. For the game game. Data port. Renderer. Okay, so we need this one. Oh, two times. Okay, wait, where does it show? So look, I have one. Oh no, two times jump. So it takes one, this one takes two, that one takes two. Okay. Purchase. Okay. Oh, unlocking augmentations requires spending practice, finding them in Bitcoin. Can only be used if you have memory space to equip them. Purchase augmentations, auto equip, press B to open the quick wheel and assign them. Augs can freely unequip, can be freely unequipped to clear up memory space. Huh. Okay, so it looks like I have 250 gigabytes. This one took up 100. Alright. Cool. Let's uh, move along. Try out your avatar's new ability. Use multi jump to reach the tower ahead of you. Oh, cool. Oh, 
cool. It's just kind of like a little double jump. You can reach even higher platforms by multi-jumping off server blocks. Oh get man. This is gonna get complicated. Um, oh jeez, really? Oh man. Avoid the turret ahead, or switch the EMP ammo to temporarily disable it. Press Y. What? Click the ammo indicator to switch to EMP mode. Uh, EMP pistol ammo. What? Oh, jeez. Oh, I didn't. I didn't even see it up there. Uh. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that guy. I don't remember how to switch my gun again. Uh, 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 uh. Uh oh. Um, I have to go down, right? Oh, oh, here's one. Right? Now. That's it, Reaper. Now return to the exit and get out of there. Is that everything? Uh, Y, switch to AP, 10 millimeter, okay. What about this side? Alright, now let's get out of here. Alright, I still have a minute. All data extracted. Okay, up at there at the top in the purple. So now... <laughs> Why? I'll just run to the end. Alright. Yeah, these... I have a feeling these are going to get very complicated. So we got level 2. One Praxis. As you gain experience, firmware updates will increase your avatar's memory and supply praxis points. And I got 50 gigabytes of system memory. Just one more level of server to go. The data from the Palisades network is within reach. Alright, oh, so we're almost done with this one. Alright, let's see if we can finish this up here. Pack 3.0, open. Open. <laughs> Booster packs can also contain a variety of modifiers, which can provide temporary advantages when raiding a server. Alright. Next. Um, go. Now I have one Praxis Some kit. Some servers will change the rules on you. In this one, the AI core activates the lockdown as soon as you enter. So let's change the rules too, shall we? Sure. Apply modifiers. By selecting them with the mouse. Wait, what? Uh. Uh. Okay. What? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Aha! Cheat modifiers alter the server rules, allowing you to do things you could never do otherwise. Just remember, each can only be used once. Hmm. Cheats? Okay, I guess I did it, so let's start the level. <laughs> the AI core already knows you're here. Use what you've learned to quickly reach the objective and escape before the lockdown completes. Bona Fortuna Reaper. Hmm. Speed run! Alright, well, uh, let's go right there. 
Oh, open the door. Um, nothing? Nothing? Aha! Okay. Reload that thing, please. Alright, gotta go, gotta go. Concentration mode. Oh. Oh, it's not time. We have over a minute. Sure. Bam, bam. Get him, man. Get him. Alright. Um. Up. Oh, that was it. That's it. Nice. So I don't know, but my modifier did. I well picked done. the speed up the one. The more you improve your skills, the more you'll be able to push yourself and complete bonus objectives. Oh wow. There's quite a bit left to this. All right. Well, this is pretty cool. I just wanted to get in here and check it out. Like I had no idea what it even was, and it's actually a lot of fun. It's kind of like a speed run thing, and it looks like back here oh, I gotta go back in so this is where I came from and this one has like your ranking I think and here's me I'm number 508 <laughs> so I guess I don't know anyway so that's what that is this one requires a hundred percent completion rate and I'm at 25% because I believe I have to go over here and then finish all these first. All the way. Oh, hyperlink. I bet, you know what? I bet you that that other, that link back there takes you here. So, I don't know. Anyway, I just want to check this out. Let me know what you guys think of this. Oh no, look, look we're at completion rate zero now. So maybe, maybe there is data that I missed in the last one. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think of this. I think this is pretty cool. It's a lot of fun. I don't know if I'm going to make any more videos of it. Uh, I don't know if it's interesting enough for that. I don't know. You guys let me know. Yeah, if you did enjoy it, leave a like. That's the best way to let me know. You can leave a comment. And you can also subscribe to the channel for more weekly DSX. Mankind Divided and other videos. Thanks so much for watching guys, and we will see you next time. Later guys. Ow.